Someone up there was wondering what it's like here. I guess. Do you think we'll meet them? I hope so. Don't you? For those of y'all who don't know, Halo 1 through 3, I think Reach 2 was developed by one team, right? Bungie, the GOAT, the GOAT of the Halo franchise, bro. Bungie literally made Xbox what it is today, right? Halo 4, Halo 5, and Halo Infinite was developed by another, another team called 343 Industries. You'll see. The correct answer to the question, who is the worst game developer, is 343 Industries. Man, what a time to be a Halo fan. And I'm going to be completely honest, bro. I tried so hard to not be on that side of Halo where I was disrespecting 343. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, y'all are trying to make Halo, Halo Infinite on a brand new engine, sure. Now, I really wasn't even around for Halo 5 because in my mind, Halo 3 was the GOAT. I, didn't even, I haven't even played Halo Reach, so I don't even know like what Halo could be. Hold on, Rock's FaceTiming me right now. The horrible choices that they... So I, as, you, as, you, as you could probably already tell, bro, this video is going to be a, a complete critique of 343. Using 343's own words, bro, and it, it oh my gosh, as a, as a Halo fan, this shit is just... A Halo fan. The horrible choices that they've made by coming out and literally saying, hey, we, you know, we did something different here, guys. We hired people that hated Halo to make Halo. Hey, I mean, split screen be damned, who cares? They'll forge at launch. Hold up, did you just say no forge at launch? So many things were missing from previous Halos. It's as if the team forgot what works. No co-op campaign at launch. You can't even play custom games, it's broken. You can't even watch feeder mode because it's broken. Oh, look at that. It's the has up arm set from Halo Reach. Unfortunately, I can't earn it in Halo Infinite. I have to pay $20. There's no way they're going to sell us the classic red color for $7. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind over this game. And that's crazy to even sit here and think, bro, because I was throwing hella, hella money at, at 343 for Halo Infinite, bro. Because in my mind, I'm like, no, nah, it's going to get better, bro. Like, like. They, they, they got to drop some fire and then all these skins are going to matter, but it really doesn't, bro. It doesn't. You had to pay $20 for a color. The promise of live service games and the we'll finish it later mentality. Are you out of your mind? We're going backwards, guys. We're, we're going, going backwards. backwards. Yeah, that is really. Yeah, and you're right. And you're right as a gaming. Games these days literally just feel like cash cows, bro. You know? When, like, like. Like make great make gaming great again, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit sucks. T, I thought we were gonna get a flood return. I guess that's just not gonna happen now. You cannot let a team toil and mess around and goof off with your flagship IP for almost a decade. It's just one thing after another after another with this company. I think the fundamental difference between the Bungie and 343 is, is the, the way that they were formed. 343 was brought in to work on an existing franchise, an existing universe with an existing fan base on existing hardware. Well, we feel really good about our, our studio 343 that's working on Halo today. And it's one of those rare opportunities when you can build a team of people that are uniquely passionate about Halo. Many of these people grew up playing Halo. That's com probably completely unique, right? Is every single person there, their destination was Halo rather than a job. You are on the cover of the new Bloomberg Have you seen Business this? Week Look here. Look at that. The real Master Chief. Master Chief is human. He's not a machine. He's not a set of armor with a big weapon. He's a human with Resilience. It's a chance for people who have played as chief for so long to put the controller down, sit back on the couch, enjoy the experience of learning about the chief in a way that you have never done before. 
Bro, this show, I couldn't even finish it. I watched maybe three episodes, bro. I watched until he took his helmet off, and I'm like, Enjoy the nigga don't look like learning. that. How you gonna make Master Chief show his face, bro? That's so, that, that's just, that's just, that's just mindless, bro. Like, there's no other way to describe Halo. It's current state other than they just don't understand their audience, bro. They just don't. And honestly, bro, who is their audience in 2022? Kids ain't really checking, but that's the thing. Kids were checking for Halo when Infinite just dropped. That should have had like 200K concurrent viewers. They just had no content, bro. They, they, they could have revived. They could have revived, bro. But even they were messing up with the trailer. Y'all seen that? Um, that shit, y'all just seen, bro, in, a, in the trailer. Let me see if I can even find them again. Like, when they first dropped the gameplay trailer for Infinite, I can't even find a clip right now. Like this guy, bro. Like, what is this? What is this? Learning about the Chief in a way that you have never done before. Like Marvel and Star Wars, Halo is a universe where hundreds of stories can be told and where millions of experiences can be shared. We knew we wanted to expand the audience as far as we could, but still satisfy the core as much as possible. Halo 4's loadout system uh, frequently and sort of appropriately gets compared to other FPS games, including Call of Duty and others. It's and, uh, never and been, it, 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 of, this uh, dude is so out of touch talking, bro. This dude's so out of touch. What are you saying? It's never been that. It's never been a loadout. The core as much as possible. Halo 4's loadout system uh, frequently and sort of appropriately gets compared to other FPS games. Oh, that's what he said. Oh, for sure. For sure. Because y'all want to fit in. Y'all want to fit in, bro. Including Call of Duty and others. And, uh, and that's a reasonable sort of uh, comparison. I think Halo 5 uh, is one of, if not the best, multiplayer versions of Halo. Jump up in the air and I... Whoa, Ashley Bash. Yo, Ashley, you going... Who, who is this? Who is this? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the big body dono. I, I am not reading that out loud, but thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the big body dono, bro. Is that who I think it is? Turn my stabilizers on, these jets mm. kick in. But you can go back forward all directions. We're not really limiting these things. We're actually allowing you to change it. You actually can mount on top of edges throughout the world. We'll be adding another clamber route. Halo has always been synonymous with online competition. With Halo 5 Guardians, we are fully embracing that legacy with the biggest investment in Xbox eSports history. You know, making the decision to remove split screen was a really tough one um, for everyone here at 343. Yeah, there's no flood in the game. Yeah, yeah we're not dealing with the flood uh, in this one. We got uh, other surprises in store. Oh, you're opening up a pack. Oh my Someone gosh, look at this. Oh, the dealer goes what even to is cannon. Yes. All the details are I love in. it. This is the first time? Oh, yeah. so yeah. you're really hoping it doesn't crash, right? Uh, fantastic. We've also had a lot like of- Like I said, fantastic. Nobody wants to hear or see sparkles when they play Halo, bro. Nobody wants a, nobody wants a pack, bro. Yeah. You're really hoping it doesn't crash, right? This is the start of the downfall. Fantastic. We've Fantastic. also had a lot of learnings along the so way. So much money. <laughs> you know, when we fell down with the multiplayer launch of MCC. It's been 20 minutes of searching. Nothing. Not a single match. Welcome to the Master Chief Collection, where you get a black screen of death every five seconds, and then you spend your time just sitting here waiting. All right, bro needs to go check on his kids, bro. He should not, he, he should not be slamming the controller on the ground like that because the game don't work. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to see both sides, bro. You're doing way too much, bro. Of death every five seconds, and then you spend your time just sitting here waiting. You just woke There's up your seven-year-old. Now you're hungry again. There's not a single title entire disc that's working to form right now. Not a single title. Somebody said, there go Berlin. I never... I... Every five seconds, and then you spend your time just sitting here waiting. There is not a single title on this entire disc that's working to form right now. Not a single title. That's the 343 guarantee. Is when they release a game, the shit is gonna suck and it's not gonna work. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 40 minutes. Imagine dropping a game and it don't work though. Like that's nuts though. That is nuts though. You did that with Batman, though. 
Yeah, I know, bro. He got he got over on me. The the last comment I said, bro, he got it. That's why. I... What? You can't do it. You can't play a match. Three four three didn't earn this. That's why they That's don't okay. care about it. They didn't earn this. Resolving the current. Now, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> ah, when you get older, bro. This is the thing. When you get a certain age, you have to rein in some of the passion because you're just too old to act like that. Bro right here, me and him was probably in lobbies growing up in middle school, bro. You can't react like that. Uh you you better make a gaming, you better make a gaming channel and do it for how many years have I done it? 6 years to even get a pass to rage like this. That's why they don't care about it. They didn't earn this. I know his wife is in the kitchen making their kids sandwiches. She's just like, Resolving. she's like this. He's, he's over there ranting with his camera. She's like, what? You can't do it. You can't play a match. Three, four, three didn't earn this. That's why they don't care about it. They didn't earn this. Dan, can you take out the trash, please? Resolving the current matchmaking issues. Like, bro, Halo, the nobody's trying to hear that shit, Dan. Remains our top priority. Why can't I get a match? Dan, kid, Kevin, I, oh in the backyard like damn i wish i could play robots <laughs> match it's been a week later and this game still ain't fucking working bro we know that some players are still seeing issues in game and we're committed to improving the experience with additional content updates in the near future i don't know why but i think that they made it worse i bought an xbox one just to play halo and I have had the worst time with it. It was incredibly. Now that that that's 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 Halo, bro. Buy a whole console just to play one game, and the game sucks. What do you do? Um, crushing to let the fans down. It was supposed to be a love letter to the fans, yeah. and um, you know we let them down. Can we reveal anything about the next Halo FPS title today? I think what I she's the saying. only thing that L listen to what she say right here. Can we reveal anything about the next Halo FPS title today? I think I think only thing that will confirm as we do listen to fans, um, there will be split screen. All so. Right. so uh, Halo Infinite multiplayer. The, G the, the, the the gag is there's no split screen. Will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before to become a Spartan hero. The Slipspace engine is really this labor of love for 343. We've invested heavily. It's gonna be the foundation of our next 10 years of Halo experiences. And that uh, trailer that we did was, that's what Halo means to the studio. We are a very competitive game. That's our DNA, that's who we are. Right, you go back all the way to the very first Halo, right? Multiplayer, I mean, it is it is a highly competitive game. Competition is kind of core to, so off base, uh, bro. to Halo. Will there be playable elites in Halo Infinite? Uh, no, the, we're not currently planning on supporting elites as a, as a playable character. And the reason is, you know, this is a Spartan story. So we focus on how Spartans battle against each other and that it feels fair and it's competitive. We have had to make the difficult decision not to ship campaign split screen co-op. Folks have asked us, are they in, are they out? What's going on with assassinations? So what's, what's the scoop there? So they're not in for launch and I think we're just gonna be straight about that, right? Is there a plan to bring back dual wielding in Halo Infinite? Currently, no, that's, that's not in the cards right now. We wanna share the exciting news that we got the official confirmation that Halo Infinite has gone gold. Let's go. That is blasphemous to even hear and say out of your mouth. As a developer, you should be ashamed, bro. Has gone gold. And look at him clapping. He not even clapping for himself. We made Confirmation that Halo Infinite has gone gold. Let's go. We made the really tough decision to delay shipping campaign co-op for launch. And we also made the tough call to delay shipping Forge past launch as well. And the thing is, bro, when he's saying these things, he don't even offer like a reason why. It's just, we're not doing it crickets. Like, bro. And as developers, when you work on a game, you want to get that game out there. And that almost seems like, for us, that's the finish line. But in reality, 
It's going to be the starting line. You've had None of us years. inside of Freeport have ten years. this roadmap and are happy with it. Two seasons a year doesn't cut it. It's just not going to cut it. That's not what our players deserve. It's not what they expect. It's not what our team wants to do. It's not what I want to do. There's just been a lot of introspective time to really reflect on, like, what have we done as 343? Um, where have we made mistakes? Where have we hit it right? And then what does Halo mean to all of us? And then also I would just say, don't sweat the mistakes, um, because I would say that every failure point has probably been um, an opportunity versus really a failure. I think the coolest thing about, uh, about Bungie, though, one of our best traditions, is that everybody here really cares about what they're doing, and, and it's important to them. They, they do it well, and it's what makes them happy. Mm. It's all about you, Jason. Hey, everybody. So I'm Jason. I'm one of the co-founders of Bungie and the lead on Halo. Microsoft estimated that they have sold one million copies of Halo in the U.S. alone. Fifty percent of Xbox owners are also Halo players. I know this one game on everybody's mind right now. Well, fellas, November the 9th, the launch of Halo 2 will also mark one of the biggest oh video gosh, game launches oh in history. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh wow. This is my first ever Xbox Live experience. No. First ever online game experience was in this shit, bro. You get close to somebody in a game and talk to them and only that person can hear you. Just had to be there, man. We didn't even know how big Halo was gonna get. How how can anything be bigger than Halo? You just had to be there, man. Actually, Peter, uh, as we walk off stage, I think there's something to be fun to show these people. Uh, and then they drop. This is the way the world ends. Understand why I was so emotional yesterday, bro. This is the end of our trilogy. This is going to be the end of the story. Safe Home and Forge, I think, represent the coolest features that we have in Halo 3. This is the stuff that's going to keep people playing for years on end, make a billion hours get on their Xbox Live. <laughs> this is my favorite Halo of all time, bro. This game was perfect. This game was perfect! Wow. It's finished. It's finished. <laughs> I'll miss you. Wake me when you need me. Oh my gosh. 343, three, with all due respect, let it go. Please. Please, bro. And Bungie, with every fiber in my body, finish this fight for us. We need you.